I want to call to the Ms. Esti Peshin, VP General Manager, Israel Aerospace Industries. She is a friend. She is leading the Israeli cyber. Please give a welcome. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, uh, good morning. Uh, Franco, come here for a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm hand to our moderator. He launched a book yesterday by the name of Plan B. So congratulations, my friend. And now we can start speaking about the elephant in the room, cybersecurity in the AGI, Artificial General Intelligence era. So, uh, by way of introduction, uh, my name is Esti Peshin, I'm Vice President and General Manager of the Cyber Division in Israel Aerospace Industries, and as you can see, I'm also a very proud General Aviation and uh, Light Sports Aircraft uh, pilot, so this is a defining factor of me. Don't hesitate to come to the II booth and speak to me about flights, or about cyber, whichever you're more interested in. So, Cyber is a strategic threat, and we are seeing quite a few strategic trends related to cyber. So we are seeing more and more state and superpower involvement, an increase in cyber crime. We are seeing more and more cyber attacks on critical infrastructures, large-scale industrial espionage, influence campaigns trying to influence our minds, and a proliferation of malware. It's extremely easy to get hold of malware and utilize it against critical infrastructures, for example. We are also seeing an increase in supply chain related attacks. So now we need to consider the ecosystem and not only our singular organization. We are seeing media campaigns that accompany these cyber attacks and try to disparage us. But the two trends that I would like to briefly discuss are number one, the international arena. So we are seeing cyber as a means to create soft power projection and promote interests in the international arena. And finally, we are seeing the emergence of artificial general intelligence or generative AI at this point of time. There are believers in artificial general intelligence there are known believers in artificial general intelligence, but generative AI is already here with us. And one thing that we know for a fact is that the attackers are quicker to adopt new technologies than the defenders. So we should expect some AI-based cyber attacks in the upcoming future. Now, the real challenge is maintaining cybersecurity while maintaining business continuity. And when we look at the real, real challenge, maintaining cybersecurity and business continuity in the artificial general intelligence arena. Now, we are strong believers in ecosystem resilience. So initially, the paradigm was that we need to protect our assets, uh, to protect our data. Uh, and then the paradigm was to limit potential damages. So we understood that we can't protect everything, but let's protect the assets that may entail the most severe damage if attacked. Then we started speaking about resilience, which basically means we understand that a cyber attack will happen and will impact us, but we want the ability to recover from it as quickly as possible and with limited damage. And finally, Today, we are speaking about ecosystem cyber resiliency because we are strongly dependent on additional elements within the ecosystem, supply chain, if you will. So when we are speaking about artificial intelligence, we can differentiate between generative AI, which is already here, and artificial general intelligence. So while generative AI is basically AI that is based on a corpus of data, providing us answers based on a corpus of data, a large corpus of data, Artificial general intelligence is actually mimicking the behavior of a human being and conducting the actions and making the decisions in a similar way that a, a human being will make them. A, a. So 
Artificial general intelligence is not there yet, and there are, I'm sure that many of you in the, in the audience do not believe that e eventually we will reach an AGI era. I'm actually a strong believer that we will. But generative AI is already here. And now the quest first question we ask ourselves is how AI and cybersecurity can work together. So this is, a, this is an answer uh, by, by Fortinet. And they basically say that AI can aid in cybersecurity through a faster detection, behavioral analysis, which helps in prediction, a, in a, a prevention of fraud. A, it can provide ongoing learning of our network, of the behavior of the attackers. It can assist in training. And the previous speaker spoke about this quite a bit. It can provide better detection. So, if I try to sum up some of the advantages of artificial intelligence in cybersecurity, then number one, detecting threats more quickly. Automation, so we are all aware of the skills crunch, right? So we all know that we don't have enough cyber defenders, so maybe artificial intelligence or artificial general intelligence can do the work for us. They, our solutions can be adaptable, a, a moving target defense, if you will. We can better use data. We can conduct advanced forensics because we aren't constrained by uh, the capacity of the human being. And we can add new detection processes. But there is another edge to this sword. This is a double-edged sword because all these advantages have an inherent disadvantage that can be used by the attackers. So while we detect threats quickly, the bad guys, can find vulnerabilities quickly. They can introduce new vulnerabilities faster. They can create better advanced persistent threats. So while we deploy moving target defense, they can have more persistent cyber attacks. Data becomes a single point of failure. They can test attacks better. We can detect them. We can uh, conduct the forensics better, but they can test their attacks better. And finally, they can identify new attack vectors. Again, predictive cyber attacks, if you will. So this is, a, this is a slide by Deloitte, and it basically depicts how countries perceive cyber threats that are AI-based or generative AI-based. And you can see here that there are quite a few professionals within certain leading countries that believe that one of the top three cyber concerns is generative AI. So it's not only, you know, it's not only theoretical approach, it's a practical approach. The CISOs, the leaders around the world, believe that generative AI can become an important cyber threat. Now, potential use of generative AI is to create a simulated and interactive cybersecurity environment for training. So we spoke about the skills crunch. It's one of the main challenges in cybersecurity today. And through various generative AI-aided means, we can conduct better training, better performance appraisal, create a dynamic environment for the trainee, continuously examining his work, not only in singular moments, answering his questions, and so on and so forth. So, ladies and gentlemen, you know, you already know our slogan. When we are talking about national grade challenges, we need national grade solutions. And these solutions comprise of five elements. Number one, state of the art technology. Number two, methodology and how to effectively use this technology. Constant innovation, and here we are talking about constant innovation. We need to adapt to new technologies. We need to incorporate them into our defenses. We need to protect against them. National and global cooperation. Cooperation is crucial. Our strength lies in our numbers, in our ability to cooperate and to share data. And finally, capacity buildup, training, awareness campaigns, spreading the word around, making sure that our weakest link is strong and is as cyber secure as possible. Now here's a practical slide for you. When you want to deploy cyber resilience, what should you do? Eight elements. Number one, ensure that you have next generations forensics and incidents respond. Number two, ensure that you have a next generation SOC, a next generation ability to monitor your environment, to monitor your ecosystem. 
A proactive approach, and this is crucial in the AI era, predictive cyber threat intelligence. Cyber threat intelligence on its own is insufficient. It needs to be predictive. It needs to predict the intentions of cyber attackers. Capacity buildup, training and awareness, handling your critical infrastructures, your critical elements within your network, supply chain security, because this is where the next hit can come from. And finally, knowledge sharing and collaboration. So Israel Aerospace Industry is one of the largest defense contractors in Israel. We are represented here uh, by the cyber division. And those of you who visited our booth have seen that the wall of our booth is painted with the three consortia that we are leading, the Israeli Cyber Companies Consortium, the Israeli Aviation Cyber Companies Consortium, and CITES, which is the Israeli Center of Excellence for Smart Transportation Systems. Now, the reason we chose to, to highlight the collaboration is because we believe that this is the most crucial element in achieving cybersecurity. So, ladies and gentlemen, what are the takeaways? Number one, we're undergoing a paradigm shift. Artificial general intelligence is behind the corner, and generative AI is already here. We need to practice cyber resilience in lieu of cybersecurity. We have new and dynamic threats that require new collaborative approach and advanced capabilities. Capacity buildup is key. Train. Make sure your staff, your ecosystem is cyber aware. Tailor-made solutions. And finally, digital leadership. And for those of you who are here uh, um, seeking out the ecosystem, yes, we are hiring. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I invite all of you to come to the II booth. We are just outside the exit right here and learn about our national level SOC. And maybe, maybe, just maybe, we'll give you a gift, a pair of socks. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.